dreams and being a part of the Yankees all these years. Phil, let's say, I, I said this before and I'll say it again, the Yankees, as you knew, and I knew it, Phil, when we were players, it wasn't a game to us, it was our religion, really. We, uh, we believed in it, we thought about it, we lived it, we worshipped it, and it never changed from that particular feeling as far as Yankee baseball is concerned. The team may not be the championship club that it was a few years back, but it's growing. It's a young club. We've said that many times over and we expect in the future that it will be back on top again. I think that, to me, will be one of the happiest days that I can think of, to watch this Yankee club come back again. And I might say, too, that one of the great blessings in my life was to be surrounded by great ball players like you, Phil, and Mike Yogi, and Mickey, and Joe DiMaggio, and Tommy Henrik, Charlie Keller, and the great pitching, Rashi Reynolds, Lopat, Whitey Ford. I think when you come along in any period of your life, the people next to you, those that you work with, your teammates, are important to you because you learn teamwork and you learn to rely on them. And we did in those days, as these young Yankees will in days to come. So to me, that was the, uh, the big thing to me. I think the association, the wonderful memories, and there were so many. And what can I say but thanks to you, Scooter, and to you, Frank Messer, for some more wonderful years. I enjoyed every pitch, every inning of every ball game. Thank you. It was very uh, troubles last night because we had this threat of rain uh, all the way through. I sort of said my farewell then. I want to say it again. But uh, the two years I've worked here with uh, you and Phil have certainly been two of my more enjoyable years in broadcasting. I want to say this. I've learned a lot of baseball from both of you. Jerry, the best of luck in uh, the West Coast and future endeavors. Well, we better get out of here before we start to cry. <laughs> All right. And so we say farewell to Jerry Coleman in another year with the Yankees. And now Frank Messer will close out this year with the Yankees. Okay, Phil. The Yankees rained out in the final game of the uh, 1969 season against the Cleveland Indians. The Yankees wind up with a record of 80 wins and uh, 81 losses. This was to have been the night the Yankees went for the 500 season, but the weatherman just did not cooperate. Uh, I think there are just two or three people before we uh, sign off the network we'd like to thank for their endeavors throughout the year. Of course, Eddie Layton, who's uh, very fine organ music, was heard throughout the 1969 season. To Jerry Farrell and Robert Merrill, so ably sang our national anthem every night here at Yankee Stadium. We'd like to say thanks to the folks at our Yankee Ticket Outlet. Did such a great job of handling Yankee tickets for our event to uh, the Triple S Blue Stamp who so generously gave the stamps for Yankee home runs, gave them to quite a bunch. Now, thanks to the Sandy Apples and our technician throughout the 1969 season, to Bill Kane, our statistician, whose job was uh, so coordinator Jerry Mabley, who uh, without whose help we couldn't have sent these ball games to you folks all around our New York Yankees.